Australian Shepherds or Aussies as these dogs are commonly named are energetic working farm dogs and playful and outgoing family companions suitable for all kinds of dog sports and activities. Here are top 10 interesting facts about the Australian Shepherd. Number 1. Not from Australia. The Australian Shepherd is not a dog breed from Australia as generally perceived. It's most likely the only officially recognized livestock working breed developed in United States of America. The Australian Shepherd Shepherd was developed in 1800s California for working on farms and ranches with livestock animals. But why are they named Australian and not American? Well, we are not sure on 100%, but the most accepted theory is that the breed's main ancestor is a Basque Shepherd. The Basque Shepherd is a Spanish breed, but they were most likely brought to America from Australia and thus the breed got its name Australian Shepherd. The breed is sometimes also nicknamed a Spanish Shepherd, which makes more sense than Australian Shepherd as Pastor Dog, Bobtail or Californian Shepherd. Number 2. Ancestry we are not sure on 100% about the breed's ancestry. Generally, it's believed that the Basque Shepherd is one of the main ancestors of this breed, but it's definitely not the only one. Back in 1800s, sheep from all around the world were imported to California from places such as France, Spain, New Zealand or Australia, and very often these sheep came into California alongside their shepherds and working dogs. Different other coolie types of dogs probably also played a role in the breed's development and it is very likely that the Pyrenean sheepdog is also one of the ancestors. But even though the exact origin is unknown due to the lack of documentation, there is no doubt that the Australian Shepherd breed was developed in the western part of United States of America. Number 3. Workers Australian Shepherds have been used for many purposes and they quickly became popular as farm and ranch working dogs. They are natural workers, they just love to have some kind of a job in their life and they are easy to train. Originally they were used for herding the livestock and they truly possess strong herding instinct. But mostly because of their devoted and loyal temperament towards their owners and family, they quickly became a favorite companion dogs and they were ideal family farm dogs. In modern times they found utilization in many other fields as well, such as search and rescue, as service dogs, drug detection dogs, but you can still find them herding on ranches as well. These dogs also excel at various dog sports like agility, rally, trekking, dog diving, disc, flyball and of course herding events. You can do virtually any sport with Australian Shepherd and they will do it very well. Number 4. Companions of course, the Australian Shepherd is not only a working breed as majority of them are living the happy spoiled life of family companions these days. And they are amazing companions, especially for active owners. It is because these dogs are very energetic and they need regular outdoor exercise to stay happy, but more about the exercise needs later in this video. These dogs tend to be alert and reserved with people they do not know, but once they get to know the person, they are typically very friendly and playful. They are extremely intelligent and loyal. Actually, some people describe them as Velcro dog, which means they want to be next to the owner all the time and they follow the owner everywhere. Australian Shepherd can live with other dogs in the family, especially if socialized together from the puppyhood, and they are typically good, playful and tolerant partners for kids, but of course, you should never leave a young child with any dog breed unsupervised. It's also important to say that many Aussies have strong herding instinct, and some of them might want to hurt other family pets or even the kids, so be aware of that. But overall, if you want an intelligent dog that will learn any trick you want, an energetic dog that will be always happy to go on a walk or a hike, then the Australian Shepherd might be a perfect dog for you. Number 5 eyes and tail. Now let's talk a little bit about the appearance of Australian Shepherd. And one of the most interesting parts of Aussie's body are the eyes and tail. They have almond shaped eyes with curious and alert expression that come in many different colors. Most commonly in brown, hazel, green, blue or amber. The Australian Shepherd is one of the few breeds where heterochromia is quite common. This means that they can have each eye in different color. Some Aussies even display more than one color within the same eye, but this is quite rare. And what about the tail? Most Aussies are born with long tail, but some of them, approximately 1 in 5, are born with naturally bobbed tail. And ranchers purposely bred Aussies that had these naturally short tails, because they are safer when it comes to herding, and very often the long tails were docked. Number 6. Size 
The Australian Shepherd is a very athletic, medium-sized dog breed with average height between 18 to 23 inches, which is 46 to 58 centimeters, and weight between 35 to 70 pounds, which is 16 to 32 kilograms. Females are naturally slightly smaller than males. They should have slightly longer body, and the body should be lean, athletic, and agile. Number seven, smart and energetic. The Aussie is a very energetic and very intelligent dog breed, which means they need a lot of daily physical and mental stimulation. I wouldn't say that they are completely hyperactive, but they will definitely need daily longer walks, jogs, playtime and fun training sessions to stay healthy and happy. This is not a couch potato. Exercise is a must for these dogs. Without enough exercise, they might develop some unwanted behavior, such as excessive barking or distraction. As I already mentioned earlier in the video, a good way how to deal with the Aussie's physical and mental exercise needs is through some dog sport like agility or any other sport actually. And what about their intelligence? Well, it cannot be stressed enough that this is a dog with brains to spare. These dogs are fast learners and they can learn learn almost any trick and command. And most of the time they will enjoy the training and learning new tricks and you should train them regularly. It is an amazing way how to create a great bond between you and your Aussie. Number 8. Coat and Color one of the first thing you will definitely notice about the Australian Shepherd is its gorgeous coat and coloration. It is a dense double coat of medium length which is weather resistant. The outer coat is typically straight but there can be little curls as well. The breed standard allows several colors and color combinations which are blue merle, black, red merle, red all with or without white markings and copper points. White is acceptable on the neck, legs, chest and muzzle underpants. Merle's characteristics become darker with increasing age. Number 9. Maintenance Speaking of the coat, it's important to mention the maintenance and grooming as well. It is important to say that the Australian Shepherd does shed all year long more heavily twice a year during shedding seasons in spring and autumn, so be prepared for that. To minimize the shedding and to keep the coat in best possible condition, regular brushing is absolute must. Regular brushing is a key to keep the coat shiny, matte and tangle free, to remove any dirt and loose hair and to redistribute natural oils all over the coat. There is no need need for trimming or shaving the coat and it's recommended to not shave this breed or any other double coated dog. You can trim some parts of the dog's body such as feet, tail, legs or ears but it's not necessary. Just like with any other breed you should also regularly check their eyes, ears, nails and teeth and clip them or clean them if needed. Number 10. Health the Australian Shepherd is usually a very healthy dog breed with average lifespan somewhere around 14 years. Just like any other breed, they can suffer from some more or less serious health issues such as cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia, coli eye anomaly or von Willebrand's disease. It is also important to never breed two Merle dogs together as this can cause deafness and blindness next to some other serious health issues. But a serious breeder would never use two Merle dogs in a breeding program. If you are interested more about double Merle dog problems, there will be end screen directly for this video. Tell me in comments what do you like the most about the Australian Shepherd and what is your experience with this dog breed. If you are new on this channel, consider subscribing, turn the notifications on and check the Rocka Dogs links in description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.